So Bethany, what is your biggest challenge with your brows? They're really blonde, they're really thin, and they're also really sparse. What made you choose microblading? I want to wake up every morning and already have my brows on. Um, it'll save me about five to ten minutes a day too of having to put them on every morning. What is your biggest fear with microblading? The shape. I want to make sure that it is a shape that I do like since it is semi-permanent. Well, what's really nice is that you and I, it's going to be a collaborative effort. So we're going to create the shape and decide on the shape well before a blade ever comes near you. So why do you trust me with doing your microblading? Just having worked side by side with you for so many years and seeing your work, I know that if somebody's going to do a great job as picky as I am, it's going to be you. So it was worth driving all the way from Houston to make sure it's done right. Are you ready? Yes. You excited? Yes. Okay. Can't wait. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. Yeah, I like them a lot. Looks really good. This is so funny. It looks like little baby hairs. Well, these are all the hairs you should have been born with. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> So natural too, that's what I like. Well, that's what I really try to do is go with yeah. the direction of your of your hair yeah. so that it doesn't look I just had some stuff. Yeah. On. So now that you've had it done, what are your thoughts on microblading? It's weird how natural it looks. So that's something I didn't expect when I look up close. It looks like little individual hairs. Um, and it just looks like the brows I was meant to always have. And so now that the procedure has been done, can you tell, can you share what your, you know, thoughts were, how it felt, you know, what, what was most important to you? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things I really appreciated is that you use all disposable products. So I know every tool and every single thing you used on me is only used on me. So I felt very safe and clean um, that the risk for infection was as minimal as possible. Um, so I really appreciated that. I also appreciate how calming you were and that you let me know every single step of the procedure, what to expect, why you were doing it, um, when you were going to do it. So there was absolutely no surprises because I was a little bit nervous. So you sure. really, really made me feel at ease. Um, well, as soon as we got started, I was good to go. So and as far as the pain, um, I would say waxing my eyebrows probably hurts more than this. Can you tell people what it felt like? Yeah, it just felt like little tiny scratches when I did feel it. So um, that's that was really it. But most of the time I didn't really even feel anything. Because I definitely think that that's something that girls are the most nervous yeah. of is what it's going to feel like. They're yeah. nervous of how, you know, if they're going to lay in pain for, you know, a long period of time. And, and I know from having mine done, it didn't feel like that for me, but it's nice to hear from another perspective what it felt like for you. Yeah, and I was honestly shocked how quick the procedure was as well, too. So you're not laying there that long, um, and the actual passes go by really fast. So that was also a pleasant surprise to me that I wasn't expecting. Right. Well, they look beautiful. I hope you love them. Thank you, thank you so much that. for letting me do them for you. Yes, thank you.